ladies and gentlemen, it is the 4th of July. We are here at the Cottage Grove Speedway and we are gonna be doing some dirt track racing for night number three of the 2022 Freedom Cup. Welcome back to today's video. If you saw our vlogs from the past two days of racing, you noticed I'm not in the 18T. This weekend I've actually been competing in the BC Motorsports number I1 owned by Brian Crockett. And we have been phenomenal. We almost had a perfect night on Saturday. Yesterday we were able to have a perfect night, came from 12th to winning the feature and just had so much speed. It literally could put the car anywhere on the racetrack, pass, throw slide jobs, slow down when I need to slow down and speed up when I needed to speed up. So with our perfect showing, we are now sitting at the top of the Freedom Cup point standings. See, to win this event, it's not necessarily winning this final night. It's accumulating the most points between your best prelim and the final night with the heat race in the full field invert A main event we have coming up. And everything is the same. Just get on the gas and go forward. Both times we're on track here uh, during the finale. Feel confident, comfortable, as long as we have a racy surface, top, bottom, middle, whatever they give us, if we can pass and move forward and go where we need to go, we should be uh, looking good for the championship and hopefully another A main event win. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on what our night's gonna look like as they kind of put the finishing touches on the Cottage Grove Speedway. Well, we just got our hot lap session here for night number three in the finale of Freedom Cup. Just a last uh, a last chance, I guess, if you want to try anything or just make sure that your car's all ready to go. Uh, Carly was top of the board, so she was pretty pumped about that, and the I-1 was second quick. We are now making kind of like our final adjustments before the heat race. Remember, this is fully inverted, and every spot you move forward is three points. It's no passing points, it's all finishing points. So technically, the lowest guys on the list are on the front row, and the highest guys are in the back. We are gonna be rolling off from eighth, I would say ideally, I mean obviously I'd like to win it, but if we can get to second or third, and then depending on how Carly and some of the other guys up there around me in points run, we can maybe you know have a little bit more of a cushion going into the A main event. I feel good about it though. The racetrack's already starting to slicken off, so I think we're gonna have a surface where we can pass, and it's all about just you know being smart, patient at the right times, and aggressive at others. So that's what we're gonna do in the BC Motorsports I1. We're gonna be strapping in and getting uh, this heat race underway, which is a, a very important part of our night. First of eight laps, we're going to get through the gear of Washington and Oregon. Blanco Walden. Lane Dragon here we go. It's going to be Blanco Walden in front of an 18 w A crappy heat race there for us started eighth and went to fourth uh, but needed to go farther forward um, track just kind of was so good down low and, and I didn't find really my groove or anything until probably halfway through had a yellow um, 
and just didn't pass as many cars as we needed to. I mean, in the big picture, eight to fourth is good, but the car that was next to me on the inside where they just got such a good start, he ended up running, he ended up winning the heat race. So um, we're gonna all be really close in points. It's not like we're in a hole or anything. We just lost a little bit there. So we have to see how Carly does as well. Um, and ultimately that heat, it was just, you know, like I said, I was able to pass cars, but I didn't go as far forward as I needed to and, and didn't pick things up as quick as we did. So um, we have the A-Main event up next. I'll keep you guys updated on what the points shake out to be, but it's all gonna be really close between the top couple of guys. And ultimately it's gonna come down to racing and I'm fine with that. I think that's where we're best. Well, we're strapping in 30 laps, Freedom Cup finale. We're currently second in points, one point out of out of the uh, out of the lead, which means we basically just have to finish ahead of that black nine car. And I'm not even sure where some of the guys in front of us are, but I know we do have a little bit of a a little bit of a gap. But it's simple. Don't think about points. Just go forward. So that's our goal. The racetrack is. Um, basically just slick everywhere. I mean, there's not really any grip. I have a hard time believing it wouldn't take rubber, but I could be wrong. I just think there's really nothing to grab you at all. Like there's just, there's no way three nights on the track. It's just, just something has to give. So hopefully we're one of the first to find it. If we do, if not, we're on the tight side and we're just going to kind of try to roll around and, and keep our speed up and uh, try to go forward. I think we're going to be rolling off 13th or 14th because of how the field kind of shook around. They didn't get to do a full 18 car invert, but we're basically in the back. So we're going to strap in, go chase a Freedom Cup championship. View. Let's do this. Have fun. Five. Good luck. What? I think the bottom's gonna be good. I'm gonna follow you. At least down here, the bottom's gonna be good. Didn't even get a chance. Didn't even get a chance to to win the Freedom Cup. So rolled out from the back, and before we even went green, I noticed the engine started misfiring. I'm like, shoot, we're in trouble. Uh, eventually, it stalled. They pushed me off the track. Came to the work area immediately. Like, hey, I think it's something with feel because I mean, it starts. It starts, and it doesn't really sound electrical. It's like it's almost maybe it's not getting feel or something because it's kind of wanting to die and go and go and I don't know. And then quickly they took the hood off and they, they noticed the battery. There was an issue with the battery, uh, like it was dead, something like that. Brought it back here, was trying to fix it all and get it charged up and do what we could do and, and nothing worked. So uh, we ended up going a bunch of laps down and that's gonna end our Freedom Cup. So we had a perfect night yesterday, was looking pretty good going into the A and even the car I was battling with got upside down, which you obviously never wanna see that, but uh, you know, the guy that we were gonna be battling with in points had misfortune as well. So it looks like Carly's in position, I think to win. I'm gonna go up and check it out, but hopefully she does. I hope my sister can get the job done and bring it home, bring it home for us, but just disappointed. So I was hoping to win all three nights of this and, and win the points or, you know, have a good, you know, I just, just, you know, not have this happen. So, um, yeah, not much more to say. I'm going to go cheer on my sister. Uh, some things are, you know, as a driver for me, it's out of my control. And, uh, we just, you know, we just, just didn't, didn't get, didn't get it done and, and didn't have things go our way. So keep you guys updated. But, uh, like I said, I'm going to go root on my sister and hopefully she pulls through and runs a, runs a good race to win this thing.
Okay, so I'm back at the back at the shop right now. I'm about to do some work. Um, I, I still have stuff that I got to tear apart, but I wanted to do this clip because last night, you know, Carly was involved in a uh, a very very scary and, and terrible accident at Cottage Grove. And the last time we talked, I said, man, Carly's in a great spot. I think she might be able to go out there and win this thing. And she was. She she was going to win the thing. She was going to win the A-Main event. The points were going to be close, but she was she was in contention. I think she was three laps, three, maybe three, four, two. I don't know. She was a couple laps away from um, a Freedom Cup, you know, nightly win. And then, boom, disaster, disaster struck. Um... Yeah, one of the one of the scariest crashes I've ever seen. And I think I guess you don't even realize the magnitude until you watch it back because uh yeah, we were sitting in turn four and it happened in turn one and you can't even see I didn't even I just seen her go up and flip and I didn't even know that she landed where she landed and how far she truly went and the hits that she took. You just seen it was bad and you knew it was bad. And then just everything started happening and it happened quick and they eventually got her out and then, you know, got her to the hospital and anyway, but um, I posted an update on the Facebook page because this is obviously coming out, you know, multiple days after. Um, but, you know, Carly has uh, two fractured vertebrae, two bruised lungs, and she's just beat up like you can't imagine, um, you know, where she where she ended up flipping. There was so, you know, she flipped into you know, bushes and trees and all that. So the, all that stuff, just the cockpit was covered and um, it just, it's just a bad deal. So thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for reaching out. My Freedom Cup didn't go to plan and Carly's didn't either. I, it really sucks that she didn't, she didn't get the chance to still bring us home a, a victory, but that's the least of our worries at this moment. You know, it just, it happens and it's part of, uh, it's part of the sport that we sign up for. So I told everyone, I said, you guys don't understand. Carly is the toughest, toughest person I know. She's a tough nut to crack. And I don't even think that Cottage Grove cracked her last night. I'd say they maybe, they maybe dented her up a little bit, but, um, she's going to recover and, and we'll, we'll keep you guys updated on that and what's going to be next for her. But she's definitely got a, a little bit of a, a road to recovery and getting back to a hundred percent. So thank you guys so much. Um, the rest of us are doing just fine. There's not really anything I can do about the situation. My dad or my older sister or even my mom can really do about it right now. So at the moment I'm filming this, my mom and them are up um, about three hours north in Eugene at the hospital that they took them to, uh, River Bend. And we are, we're just back home now. And just, you know, just like everyone else, you know, we're just, we're, we're sending love to Carly and hugging her. And the second I'm going to get the chance to talk to her, I'm going to, I'm going to tell her, man, you were a couple laps away. You were close. You did a hell of a job, but um, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks to Brian again for a fun weekend. I know that I won didn't have the ending we hoped, but it's part of racing. And that's the, like I said, that's the least of our concerns right now. We still got one win and, um, you know, had a bunch of speed for our, for our little crate, crate deal and coil over car. That was, that was a blast to drive. So see you guys on the next one. Thank you. We will uh, talk soon.